Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Padlet to create a collaborative multimedia map. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm signed into Padlet and I'm going to hit Make a Padlet. And we'll choose the template we want to use or the background we want to use. Let's use the map one. And let's build up our new Padlet. Now, here's the default map style. In the bottom right corner, we can select a different map style. So perhaps we want to use the usual map style. And you can see some of the other ones here. Do a retro, satellite. Let's just use the usual map style for this demo. Now let's rename this one. Let's call it Map of Interesting Places. We'll say share a place that you find interesting. Now we can add an icon to this. Fun emoji here. Do that one and down here we can allow commenting on in this or not we can have attribution let's do attribution we can allow reactions what people say we like that contribution we can turn on a profanity filter and we can require mo a moderator to approve any contribution before it goes live for this demo i'm not going to use that part next now we'll start posting now to add our new place marker to the map we can do it in a couple of ways but the easiest option is to go here and search for a place name Maybe you want to go to Sunday River ski resort and we'll see here it's dropped me in on a pretty in-depth layer or level so I want to zoom out to give people a little better perspective on where it is in the world. So let's zoom out to that level. Now, by default, it pulled some information from Google Maps for me. Let's edit that post. And we'll just say Sunday River. And we're going to add, this is a great place to ski. It is usually the first resort to open in Maine each winter. And now, just like any other Padlet, I can go in and upload an item. Maybe I want to upload a picture that I previously had. I'll use that picture of me and my dogs. And we'll add that in. Now, if we want to add more places, well, let's go to another place. And we'll go and say, I want to go to Moosehead Lake, Maine. So this is a popular spot for ice fishing. And again, I can upload an item. I can link to something. I can do a Google search and put in a little picture. Look for a video. Even do a search for audio. Happens to be that there's no audio available. Or we can do a web search. Maybe insert the Wikipedia link. We can also turn on the camera and take a picture. And we'll see there's other options here. I could have students record themselves talking about the place markers that they've added. They can go in and record a little video. Take a picture. Or, of course, upload anything that's on their computers as well. So let's go back in, do our quick search. I'll just insert that little Wikipedia link. And now we're all done. Now, you can add as many place marks as you like. And of course, you can zoom out more to get a better perspective on the world. When you're ready to share it, just hit that share button in the upper right corner. Again, that's upper right corner. Hit that share button. 
You have a lot of ways you can share. You can type in an email address. You can change your privacy and say that anyone who has the link can write on it or anyone who has a link can only read on it. Can only read it. And change it from secret to public. And that way it's discovered in a search engine, theoretically. I'll put it back to secret and say, for now, people can only read it. Of course, you can also password protect it or make it private entirely. Now let's save that setting. Then we'll go back in and just like any other Padlet wall, you can copy the link to your clipboard, get a QR code for it, embed it into your blog post, share it in Google Classroom or share it on your favorite social media site, or even just print it out as a PDF. Now, if you are trying to make a Padlet and you have an existing wall, perhaps you have this one here, like I do, a little tip, you can convert it from your previous background to the map background. Now what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go in and I'm going to clear all posts. And up here, we're now going to change format and I'll choose the map format. And now I have a nice map background. And of course, you can change the style of the map as well. So that's how you can create a multimedia map using Padlet. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.